So I've rearranged, I've got 16 foot hog panel here and then 16 foot across. So that's enough room for all of them. This set of twins and this set of twins are gonna get tagged and turned out this afternoon. And then these three and this you, right? I don't have a pen for her right now. So she's just kind of in this alleyway. Um, we'll say until tomorrow. And these two pens will get shifted to the end. Everybody's doing good except this set of twins from this morning. I thought they had eaten and apparently they hadn't. And I'm hoping I'm not too late. They're doing okay, but she all of a sudden is beaten up on both of them. So I'm going to go get a halter and a tuber. And I'm just going to milk her out a little bit and get some good stuff in both of them. And then we'll probably try to get them back on her while she's in the halter. So we'll see. These were the twins born with me this morning. I thought I had seen them drinking and apparently I hadn't. This, this one that you can't see, the bigger one, was doing fine. It was running around. But the smaller one was starting to get real kind of slow and sluggish on me. So I shoved Mama here up against the wall because... She doesn't seem to want to stand for them. And this little one, boy, again, excuse me, excuse me, is going to town. Come here, bud, right here. Right here. Levi's doing some leveling and kind of ripping up the ground a little bit where uh, it's been trampled down and drove on a lot over the winter and we're going to spread some grass seed to help reestablish grass here. Hopefully this is the last winter that this area will get all ripped up all winter and be a muddy mess in the spring. It's not too bad right now. So we finished rearranging. We did have lambing jugs set up right here. And there was a 16 by 16 area up here for the ewes and lambs that were ready and tagged to be turned out. So we moved the hog panels over and now there's an 8 foot wide and 58 foot long area for the ewes and lambs. And this section, these are the last four ewes that have had lambs and are prolapse ewe that are just going to kind of hang here together for a few days till we make sure they're all good and bonded. And then we'll take this panel down and it'll be this whole side of ewes and lambs. And there's 18 
or there will be 18 in here when we're done. And then on this side, we're going to split it again so that eight foot across with the green panels. And we're just going to start the lambing jugs here and start moving them backwards through the pen each time we have a new set of lambs.